so I'm making a couple of videos, Shauna and I are making a couple of videos for you guys to help you out with your assessment in clinic. Uh, we're going to go over just a couple of the steps of Hopner's. So Hopner's is your history, observation, palpation, movement, neurological, referred pain and special tests. We always do things in that order because it's from the least invasive to most invasive as we go. And uh, we're going to do three videos. We're going to do one on a postural assessment uh, for your observation. We're going to do uh, one on movement so that you can really see and, and practice your, your movement assessments. And then we're going to do another video on, on neurological. So to start with our postural assessment, I am going to start by asking for consent. So uh, I would like to do a postural assessment or a postural scan. So I just want to see what your body looks like in a relaxed standing posture. I will be uh, touching the bottoms of your feet, the backs of your knees, the bones right around the hips, uh, along the shoulders and then along your spine as well. Um, that will give me an idea as to what, how your body usually sits in alignment um, and what muscles might be habitually lengthened and which muscles might be habitually shortened uh, just to the way that you, you know, typically stand. Um, and uh, that will help me provide a better uh, treatment for you, more specific. Uh, and when I touch uh, around your shoulders, around your hips, uh, sometimes that can be a little bit tender. Um, and if anything is ever tender, just please let me know and we can always um, stop or change what we're doing. Okay, is that, is that do you have any questions? No. Nope. Good. Uh, are you okay with that? Or were you okay with us continuing? Yes. Good. Okay, so I'm going to get you to stand up. You don't have shoes on, uh, which is fantastic. So I'm going to get her to stand. Um, I'm going to get you to start by facing me. Fantastic. So I'm going to start by checking the underside of her feet and just checking her arches. Uh, the front of her knees, I'm just going to look at the contour and see if they're the same pretty much at this point. Um, I'm going to be poking at the front of your hips if that's okay with you. Okay, so I'm going to find her ASIS bilaterally and check its level. Good. Then I'm going to come up and look at the level of her shoulders. Um, I would guess that she's right-handed because her right shoulder is dropped just a little bit. That's pretty typical. Um, do you mind if I touch just around your, clav your collarbone? Yes. Perfect. So just see if that's sitting level. Not too bad. A little bit of a V-shape to her clavicle, but not too bad. I'm going to get you to do a quarter turn to your right. Perfect. Um, I'm going to start with the backs of the knees again. I'm going to find her PSIS and her ASIS and check that. Good. I'm going to check along her spine and just see if she has any hyperlordosis, hyperkyphosis. Uh, see her shoulders are just a tiny bit anteriorly rotated. I'm going to get you to continue to do another quarter turn so you're facing away from me. That's perfect. Checking the backs of her knees again. PSIS. I am going to get you to lean back into me, otherwise it might feel like I'm pushing you over. Perfect. Good. PSIS. Check her shoulder blades a little bit. See if one of them's higher, lower, winged out. One might be more protracted than the other. Tops of the shoulders. Good, and one more quarter turn. Fantastic. Backs of the knees again. PSIS, ASIS again. Spine again, and, this, and then this shoulder comparing it to the other one. Fantastic. All right, and then I would chart anything that I found. Great.